Joe Rossiter here, and welcome to this overview of Union, Soundspot's next generation wavetable synthesizer for PC and Mac. Union's pair of analog style oscillators can be instantly printed into a third wavetable oscillator, facilitating the creation of unique, powerful sounds within just a few clicks. Each oscillator features its own multi mode resonant filter, plus breakpoint LFO, ADSR, and mod envelope. And there's a rack of nine reorderable, mix ready master effects built from Soundspot's existing plug in processors, all modulatable by four FX LFOs. Union also ships with 320 world class presets. So let's look at Union's two identical analog modeled oscillators found on the upper left and right of the interface. Down in the Oscillator Mixers section, I'll disengage Oscillators 2 and 3 for now. By default, Oscillator 1 is set to a saw wave. Pop open the Wave Select dropdown to choose from the seven available waveforms. I'm going to select a square wave. Up to 32 unison voices can be dialed in per oscillator. Let's ramp up the voices to 4 for a thicker, Reese like tone. Union is capable of a maximum 96 simultaneous unison voices, if your computer can handle that many. Handily, the colour of the unison numbers change from white to amber to red, indicating CPU usage. Tuning controls are found along the top here, but I'm going to leave these at default. Click an oscillator's magnifying glass to reveal its editing area, where you can tab through the three modulators. The yellow ADSR envelope is hardwired to amplitude, while the purple mod ADSR envelope and blue tempo synced LFO can be used to modulate any of the eight parameters found along the bottom. The first two knobs control this oscillator's filter cutoff and resonance. Click the cutoff knob's arrow to choose one of eight low and high pass filter types. I'll select the 24 dB per octave low pass filter. To modulate a parameter, simply click its lower left node. Clicking once turns it purple, meaning it'll be modulated by the mod ADSR. Then drag the upper right ring to set mod depth. You can drag the mod envelope's coloured nodes around and bend the curves with the white nodes. Clicking the mod node turns it blue, and the cutoff is now being modulated by the LFO. This colour coded toggle system encourages you to experiment with modulation sources at the click of a button. Let's flip the main display over to the LFO and draw in a custom shape. This works just like the envelopes, except you can also double click to add and remove breakpoints. Choose an LFO rate of between 30 second notes and 32 bars with its drop down menu. And click the dot to jump between straight, dotted, and triplet rhythms. Other per oscillator parameters include control over phase. Unison Detune, which is also found on the front panel, and Unison Blend. Midside Balance. Pan and Level. Let's now exit this editing area and engage Oscillator 2. To give this patch some meat, I'll call up the Organ Waveform. Set its unison voices to 3. Then pop open its editor and dial in some low pass filter with resonance. Note that you can modulate an oscillator's fine or coarse pitch. Click its header to change its colour. 
You can, for example, use the Mod ADSR to quickly apply a small pitch bump to the front end of each note. If oscillator levels get too hot at the output, simply head back to the oscillator mixer and rebalance the levels to taste. So far we've only been exploring Union's virtual analog capabilities, but here's where things get interesting. Oscillator 1 and 2 feed into the top oscillator FX sections for processors, phaser, delay, distortion and reverb. Turn one on, then click a logo to open its editor. Let's try ramping up these four effects to extremes. By creating a custom blend of oscillator 1 and 2, applying these time-based effects, then punching the Generate Wavetable button, found here, the process signal is instantly converted into a 3D wavetable oscillator and loaded into oscillator 3, as you can see. I'll disengage oscillators 1 and 2 in the mixer and engage oscillator 3 so we can hear it in isolation. As you'd expect, click and drag the wavetable display to scrub through the table. Not only is this a workflow boosting approach to wavetable creation, but it guarantees that the wavetable will be harmonically compatible with the first two oscillators, allowing you to create dense, rich patches in an instant. As with the other two oscillators, you can open the third's editor where you'll find an identical filter and modulation setup. The only difference is this pink wavetable area. Again, drag the sliders to scan through the wavetable. You can see there are two displays, one for the left channel and one for the right. Union has captured the wavetable in true stereo. This left and right scanning is linked by default, but you can turn this off with button. By unlinking the two, the wavetable position can be set or modulated independently for the left and right channels, meaning you can overcome phase cancellation artifacts or embrace them for interesting stereo effects. And modulation works in the same way as before. Click a node to set a modulator, then drag the ring to set mod depth. Once you're happy with your wavetable, turn off the oscillator effects and blend the other two back in the mix. Now let's turn our attention to the rack of nine effects along the bottom, all based on SoundSpot's powerful commercial effects. These not only remove the need for lots of external processing in your door, but means that complex modulatable processing can be baked into a preset. As with the oscillator effects, turn one on with its power button. Then click its icon to open the editor. The distortion effect, based on Ravage, is the same as the one in the oscillator effects section and features six types, ranging from analog emulating models to digital modes.
like all the effects, there's a mix knob for easy parallel processing. There's also a quad band equalizer for surgical tone shaping. Click its bottom nodes to jump between the four color coded bands. The multi mode resonant filter is identical to the per oscillator filters, but adds a drive control for analog esque weight and beef. Also, as found in the oscillator FX area, you get a phaser, delay, and reverb. And there's a studio quality dynamics module for peak control and signal squashing. Note that the signal flows from left to right. Effects can be reordered horizontally by dragging on a target cross and then dropping the effects to reorder them. You may have noticed that every effect parameter features a modulation node used to set up modulation by one of the four identical FX LFOs. You can access these LFOs by clicking the bottom left tab. These breakpoint modulators operate in exactly the same way as the oscillator LFOs, except that they can act as one-shot envelopes when set to trigger. Or free running LFOs when set to off. Set an LFO's rate. Alter the shape's phase. Smooth out the mod curve. And temper its mod amount by dialing back the mix knob. One last unique union feature to mention is its pitch bend control. Most of the synths model classic designs bend the pitch, let go, and the pitch snaps back to unity. Turn union's pitch bend up or down, however, and it remains at the place you left it. This means you can easily automate global pitch in your door for interesting note bends and riser effects. So that's it for this quick overview of Union, an easy to grasp synth with a unique, fast workflow and tons of sonic power packed under its hood. Find out more at soundspot.audio.